Every day sees the publication of a mass of documents and reports in science and technology, which no modern company can ignore if it wants to keep its place or consolidate its position in a competitive environment. However, the problems are not solved by drowning the engineers and scientists under an avalanche of documents. The European space organizations offer them an automatic documentation system, the RECON. We got the documents from the Space Documentation Service. Thank you. Ah, the industrial topics from the Space Documentation Service. That's right. Industrial topics, a monthly updating service, covers a hundred selected subjects. It is disseminated to subscribers. This reminds me, there's a literature search I would like to have them do on osmosis filtration. Mm -hmm. Could you see to that, please? Yes, of course. This research worker we've just seen has gained access to a vast reference system stored in a computer. No need to go to the library. Dial a phone number and you're able to browse through the files on a television screen. Europe's first information retrieval network has just been put into operation and permits direct interrogation of a computer in Darmstadt, Germany. The network consists of two terminals at the SRO headquarters in Paris. One terminal at the documentation center of the Department for Trade and Industry near London. One terminal at the French Space Center, CNES, at Bretigny. One terminal at the SRO Center at Nordwijk, Holland. One terminal at Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm. One terminal in Munich. One terminal near Rome. Shortly, the Royal Library in Brussels, as well as the Dutch Aeronautic Laboratories near Amsterdam, will be linked to this network. This network offers plenty of opportunities for extensions. A link up via a telecommunication satellite of the Paris terminals with a computer file in Los Angeles has been tried and proved already. Thanks to a generous agreement with NASA, the European space organizations process a great number of reports and in exchange have gained access to the large documentation for the recon system developed by Lockheed. Every month, NASA sends a copy of its tapes to the Space Documentation Service, more than 6,000 references per month. Since 1962, more than half a million references of scientific or technical results have been stored at the SRO Computer Center. These references, generated in the course of space programs, don't only relate to aerospace, but cover the whole spectrum of science and technology. A thesaurus of 15,000 keywords is used to describe the subject matter of a document in plain language. For instance, if we choose landing gear as a keyword, a broader term could be aircraft frame. A narrower term, 
nose leg. A related term, wheel, any wheel. Another way to put it, a key word can have narrower terms and can be itself a narrower term of a broader one. All terms have related terms. In a search for documents, key words are combined to produce reports matching the questions asked by means of the logical and or not. This is easily done by a computer. And will select all reports indexed by both terms. will select all reports indexed by either terms. Not enables one to reject reports containing an unwanted concept. These key words allow a direct dialogue between a computer and the scientist. That question about osmosis filtration, what's happening about it? The computer asks certain questions for identification. The first question is, search title, and I type in the title of my search, osmosis filtration. The analyst first decides on a keyword under which the required reports may be indexed. Questions are formulated in plain language, but he should have an understanding of the logical and or not. I expand the term filtration. The computer responds by displaying an alphabetical listing of terms. Also shown under the heading CIT is the number of documents for each term. I see other terms of interest such as filter, filtering and filters. These terms can be selected and registered in the computer's memory, causing a set, our set number one, to be generated. I do the same for osmosis. An expansion shows that no other term seems relevant, so osmosis alone forms set two. To get references on osmosis filtration, I need to combine sets one and two. These sets are combined, giving a total of nine references. Each reference consists of the title, indicative abstract, name of author, origin, and seven to 10 keywords. Let's look at another reference to try to find additional terms that we could use. In this reference, I see that the term membranes is used again and notice a new term, water treatment. These terms are noted down and will be incorporated into the search, since it's likely that they'll produce more pertinent material. On expanding water treatment, I see other terms of interest, such as water purification, water reclamation, and water recovery. These terms form set four. The set history can be displayed, giving a record of the search strategy so far. I continue my search by expanding membrane and selecting several other terms. These terms will form set seven. It will be seen that membrane has six narrower terms and these can be displayed. I select iron exchange membrane electrolytes as being relevant to my search. A further set history shows that it's necessary to combine the references on membrane 
with those on filtration or osmosis. This combination yields 55 references, several of which are looked at to see if they're satisfactory. I decide to print the references in two sets, osmosis filtration set 6 and membrane filtration set 10. The results of the search are printed at a speed of 1,200 lines per minute. From this printout, the user is then able to choose the reports in which he's interested. There are one or two interesting reports in this list that I'd like you to get the microfiche of. Space Documentation Service maintains a complete collection of microfiches. across Europe, which will have great impact on the progress of science and technology. So be so home. Hello. Hello, Darmstadt. Darmstadt. Madrid. Can everybody come? Hello, Darmstadt. Hello, Darmstadt. Hello, Darmstadt. This is Paris. Could you load recon for us, please? Thank you. Automation allows men to face the information explosion and frees them from the servitudes of over-specialization. <laughs>